Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix HID compliant touchscreen driver is missing device manager. So, before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just under this video. So, let's get started. So, if you try accessing your laptop here or any other device here and the touchscreen is not working, then most likely the, in this case, the HID compliant touchscreen driver is missing. So, First things first, we want to go to search here. Let's go ahead and open up the uh, device manager. And from here, as you can see, when you open up the option here for um, in this case, specifically for human interface here, you should be able to see the option here that says HID compliant touch screen. But if you don't see it in here, there's a few things that you could try doing. So you want to go to view here and you want to make sure that you show hidden devices. Now, sometimes it may just be hidden. So showing it can actually help a lot. So what you need to do is once you see it in here, you just need to right click on it and just make sure to uh, basically update the driver as well. And also, if it's actually disabled, you want to go and enable that as well in here. Because sometimes it may be disabled by default. So disabling, uh, enabling them and also updating it can actually help a lot. So by the way, if you update your driver here, choose the option here that says search automatically for drivers and just wait for it to update completely. Now, another thing that you may want to do here is you may want to also use the troubleshoot feature already installed in your PC. So go to search here, just type in troubleshoot. And from here, let's go open up the troubleshoot settings. And from here, let's go ahead and just choose the option here for other troubleshooters. And from here, there's going to be a lot of uh, troubleshooting here that you could do. So you could go ahead and choose the option or you could run the program compatibility troubleshooter here. You could also run the Windows Update troubleshooting here. And uh, yeah, so go ahead and just try running those and see if that helps. Now, another thing that you want, you want to do here is you want to make sure that your PC is also up to date. So you want to go and go to search here, just type in Windows Update. And from here, you want to go ahead and just click on check for updates. And if there are any updates, make sure to install those updates and wait for your PC to finish updating it and restart. So once your PC has been updated and has been restarted, you can go ahead and see if that solves the issue. Now, if that doesn't solve your issue, the next thing that you may want to do here is you may want to check any updates from your ma manufacturer. Now, in this case, this is not just any kind of update that you could get, generally speaking here. This actually depends on what the model or what's the brand of your uh, laptop here, or in this case, your device. So in this case, you may want to go to the following here. Again, this actually depends on you. So in my case, I I'm using the Novo here. So you wanna go ahead and go to their official website here, and you wanna go ahead and go to the specific website for them. So in this case, it's going to be the Novo com in my case but again depending on yours uh you may need to access a different one so let's go and choose uh the option here for pcs and ta uh, tablets sorry let's go back here let's go and choose the uh option here for laptops and from here you should see this screen here now by the way another way for you to fix these issues by contacting their support uh their support page here, or in this case, depending on your model, again, depending on your model here, you may or may have the option to contact their support. But in some cases, usually uh, they should have a support page. Now, in my case, I have support.lenovo.com. So go to access the PC option here, click on it, and you can go and just start searching for your PC here. You can go and detect your product as well. And once you've detected your product here, you just need to scroll down a bit and you want to go and choose the drivers and support option here. And once you've actually click on drivers and support, you want to look for any updates. So you go and click on the automatic update here, or you could go ahead and just basically um, do a manual update. By my case, I would suggest you to do the automatic update here. And if you want to do the manual update, you could go and click on select drivers here. So to be speaking, there are going to be a lot of updates that will be included in here. So sometimes you could go and access software utilities here. If you want, you have mouse, touchpad, keyboard, and pen and uh, a lot more. So there's also display and video graphics here. So that's why it is uh, better that you do the automatic update here, just sh just to make sure that you get everything or every update in here. But if this, this does not work for you, you could just contact their support and see on what they can actually help for you. So sometimes this might be a PC or hardware related issue here. So that's why it's not being uh, uh, used properly or being detected properly. But yeah, contacting support may be the best solution if none of those actually work. 
But just in case you've installed the update already on your software or software updates for or the drivers for your PC here, what you just need to do is you want to open up CMD here just to make sure the changes has been applied. You want to open up command prompt here and you want to type in the following, which is going to be SFC space, then forward slash here and then scan now and just press enter. Now it will. This will actually do a, a basic, uh, basic do a basic run or scan here. But it might say that I was running in this console session, so we need to use admin privileges here. So just search for CMD. Right click on it. You want to go and click on Run Admin Administrator. A answer yes here. Or click yes. And again, you just need to type in FSC, uh, SFC scan now. Press enter. Now it should do a scan here. We just need to basically wait for it to do. Uh, finished running and just basically start your PC once it's actually done. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.